So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to convert your gene code from one human genome number to another. So if, say for example, if I previously had this, uh, a, a gene or a certain segment of gene which I wanted to convert from HG18 or the human genome 18 to 19, there's a really easy way to do that. And as in my previous videos, we first go to the human genome browser, which we log into here. Click the first link, and now on the left side, you'll notice that there are a, a large list of different tools or utilities available, and we want to go to the one that says Utilities, which is right above here. Now, there are five different utilities that are available, and the one we're going to use today is the Batch Coordinate Conversion. And after clicking that, then it gives you a different variety, well, gives you a variety of different uh, parameters that you can change to. So I'm going to be using human today. However, you can also use other animals whether necessary. And for this purpose, uh, my original piece of code was in the human genome 18, and I want to convert that to HG19, and making sure that the human is the same, because that's something sensible. So as you can see here, I've already made the conversion previously. However, I'm going to show you how to do it from the start. So this is the code from the HG18 on chromosome 16. Uh, this is the proximal breakpoint. This is the distal breakpoint. So I'm going to copy that. Copy that and you paste in your data over here. Very simple. And then you press submit. And after you press submit, then it seems like nothing has happened. But if you go down and go to results, it says that it has successfully converted that first record. We click this view conversion, and now you have this converted uh, piece of um, code, which you can copy. So this is converted to HG19 now, which may be useful for some of you. And if we compare that to my previously uh, my previous data, you can see that it's the same. The proximal breakpoint is now this number with a distal breakpoint of this number. So it's very simple to do. Um, it can, uh, it's very helpful for you as well if you want to convert data from an older set of, or an older genome to a newer genome, and it's all free as well. So thank you for listening. If you've liked the videos, remember to subscribe to our channel. There are also a couple more videos shown below, and you can also check us out on Facebook as well as Twitter.